Hey guys, how's it going? Glad to have you back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to review the Empower Lucy Solar String Lights. This is the multicolor RGB version. About a year ago, I reviewed these guys. This is the warm white edition, the low, medium, and high setting. Um, I've had these for over a year now and had no problems with them and absolutely love them. So when I saw that Empower released the multicolor version, I thought I'd do a, a quick walk around of these and then a little bit of comparison of the two. So let's get into what's in the box. Uh, first off, this is an 18 foot cord. If you do, you're not familiar with the solar string lights, they're rechargeable by solar or USB. On the back here, you can pause the video if you want to see the exact specs, but you've got six unique colors. That's the difference. This model is a little bit different uh, as it can recharge by a cord. And I'll show you what I mean by that here shortly. So let's open them up, see what we get in the box. Package very similar to the other ones. Here's the actual puck itself with the lights inside. We get a little disc that basically talks you through how to thread the cord properly, how to lock it properly, and how to wind up the lights properly. On the other side, we get a lift the cap to reveal the ports, USB A, and a micro USB provided on these lights. We get a small micro USB cable. So let's go over the lights themselves, walk around them. On this side, we have our power switch. Right here is our battery status indicator button. We can push that, it'll give us an indicator of the charge inside on the top here. As we go around to the side, this is a little window that kind of lets you know if you left the lights on, if you've locked them in position, and tells you little arrows which way to turn to unlock. You get a little piece of paracord, shot cord here. On the top, as we look here, we've got a flashlight or a base light. We've got some branding logos on the sides and our panel, solar panel. On the bottom, just says Empower. So as we take a look at the lights, we can take them apart by just turning them to the side. It exposes the lights themselves and what they call the nodes or the light bulb. So let's find the end here. On the end here, we have a slightly different attachment. Hopefully my camera's focusing. Got a little hook here. This is used to hook the cord. When you go to hang it in the, around a tree or a structure, an awning, can use that to connect it. So we've got 10 of these nodes. Each one of these nodes contains the RGB lights, red, blue, green, for those that don't know what RGB is. And on this chip, they, these turn on and cycle through to form the different colors. They provide little clips. So if you have to double up the lights, and you want to hook them on something, you can form little loops to be able to hold things. That's a nice touch. The first time we touch our switch, we're going to get our flashlight up top here. The, all the pastel shades. So I push the button, it gets a little bit brighter. Goes to kind of the turquoise. And then we've got the different shades of violet, turquoise, the green the pink, and then the cool white. I have to say I was a little disappointed in the cool white. The cool white, um, it's just not like the warm white. I've been using the warm white modules for quite a while, and I really like the light output of the warm white a lot better than the cool white. If I have the solar panel out um, during the day and I just throw it up on a tent or on top of my trailer, they will charge up nicely before the next time I need them. And it has a built-in 2000 milliamp battery. Now in my testing with the warm white model, 
Um, I got about 30% charge in about two hours. So this is no means a battery bank. These, both these lights would be considered emergency power source. So if your cell phone was completely dead and all you had was this in your backpack or around camp, you could definitely charge something up enough to get some juice and get it going. But I had roughly 30% in two hours. If you'd like to see that video, I'll put a link down in the description down below. We look here, we got a port cover. On the port cover, we have the USB-A and the micro USB. So what's different from this model to the standard model is the USB-A is used to charge other devices. The micro USB is used to charge the actual lights themselves. And you've got this USB connection. Now this was one of the things I had to take time to get used to. You can plug this in to a USB device backwards and it will not charge. So you have to make sure that these gold contacts are plugged in properly. So to charge them, I would have to unwind just a little bit of cord and plug this into a USB source, making sure the gold connections are facing the right way so I could charge it up. On the new model, they use the USB cord and you plug directly in to where the uh, rubber flap is. You plug this cord directly into here to charge up your lights. The other difference is probably just the external color. You've got white versus black. The panel appears, just from my reference, to be the same. It might be an upgraded model. I would not know. You'd have to check with Empower on that. What I chose to do is with the shot cord, I removed the shot cord and I replaced it with some glow cord. This just helped me locate it easier and find it easier in the dark. Since it is an all black device, if it was laying on the ground, I could find it a lot easier. Both devices have the flashlight. Both devices have the ability to charge other devices. The biggest thing is the charging ability. So you either unwind a little bit of cord and plug it in this way, or you use this cord to plug it in here. Which do I prefer? I think honestly, now that I've gotten used to this, I don't have to worry about finding a cord. That is a nice feature. But I think in the future, I have so many of these micro USB cables around, it's very, very easy to be able to just plug a cord right into the side. So I think that's kind of to each their own, whatever your preference is. So now that I've dimmed down the lights, you can see the difference in color. If I turn these up, this is the warm white on the left, medium, high. There's a big difference between these in high mode and warm white compared to these guys here, the colored ones. Big difference in brightness. So this is on high. I'll put these down to low. It's probably more of a fair comparison in brightness to the colored ones. Now let's cycle through the colored ones. Now if you put these guys in like this turquoise blue, I would call, call this color turquoise blue. I found this to be its brightest mode is in the turquoise blue. Now could you play cards around that and all that? Yeah, probably. Just depends if you want to have that turquoise blue kind of hue over your working prep area. Personally, I prefer the warm white when it's utilitarian needs. You want to just illuminate an area. You're getting in and out of things. You want to see labels properly. The RGB sometimes makes that really difficult. Where the bright white is great for task lighting, the RGB is more of your ambiance type lighting, something that you can sit around the campfire and have a little glow to see where you're walking, what you're doing, maybe a little bit of light reading. That's going to be your, your uh, choice there. You can't beat the high mode of these warm whites. I absolutely love how bright these can get. And there's just no comparison in brightness. Comparing white to white, there is no high, medium, and low with these lights. So to roll them back up, what do you do? Turn your lights off and you just start rolling it around the puck. That's it, that's all you gotta do. So 
we'll speed this process up. A couple of questions I get asked about both of these are, can they be left out in the rain? Yes, you can leave them out in the rain. They don't recommend submerging and like a heavy thunderstorm, long duration rain event, you should probably not leave them out. But to get just a quick rainstorm or a rain shower or so on coming through, they say they'll be fine. So on this one, you've got low, medium, high. I really like that feature. They charge well. I like the ability to not need a cord to charge them. And this is great for task oriented situations. The color ones, more ambiance. You do benefit in some people's eyes having the micro USB to quickly charge them. So I think that's kind of a tie with the warm white. Otherwise, they're very, very similar in a lot of ways. You got the solar panel for emergency power. You do have a dedicated flashlight. If you just need to quickly see something, you've got a quick flashlight. It's a nice feature. It's a preference of do you like the multicolor pastel -y type colors or do you want more task oriented lighting with a bright white? So you're probably saying to yourself, how much do these cost? Well, that's the thing. They're very similar in price. So at the time of this video, these were around 40 and these were around 45. So you're not talking a whole lot more money. And as far as features, it's just strictly for the most part, the color changing option and the placement of a micro USB cord. Whether that's a plus or minus few, you'll have to determine. Both great products, another great product from Empower. Hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions about either of these, I'm gonna be testing these all summer. I've used these for over a year, so I've got experience with them and I absolutely love them. Put it down in the description, we'll get a conversation going. I'll answer any questions I can. As always guys, thanks for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Smash that notification button to see future videos if you like these reviews. We appreciate it. Make sure you get out and do some camping. We'll see you next time, guys.